Hello, Just Jacks here and welcome to my channel. Hint, hint, Halloween, tis the month. So let's get crafty in a spooky kind of way. What we're going to try and do today, because I haven't tried this particular idea before, but in theory it should work, is a nice recycled ghosty. I've got two jelly pots, a long one and a short one and a little cling film bubble. So he's got a domed head. Now the idea is we're going to just give it some very, very thin layers hanging ever so slightly. That's why he's propped up on a glue stick of um, PVA glue soap. PVA glue soaked toilet tissue and when he's dry we'll give him a little face and we'll pop a tea light underneath so we can light up. So let's pop those two bits out the way and he's raised on a box as well because uh, everything every other base that I've got is currently being used to dry something or another. So this might be a little fiddly and a lot messy. I reckon we can do it. Let's see if we can get away with doing it like this. This is going to be very much a trial and error one. In fact, we'll see how this goes. We might revisit this one very quickly, but put the glue in a bigger tray so we can dip in and pull out. Sometimes you just have to try ideas to see how they pan out. If you haven't tried something before, it might go right, it might go spectacularly wrong. So far, I think it's going to go right. But we'll see. So far, the tissue hasn't torn too badly. You just got to try and stay central, otherwise it's just going to topple. And I am applying liberally but delicately. Because this is just tissue. So it might tear, like it just did. Sort of talked it up a little bit. Now your cling film bubble is not going to keep its air. That does not matter. It just needs to last long enough for the PVA glue to dry and then it'll be okay in theory. Okay, that one's torn. Kind of talked up the tearing. <laughs> I was going to say, that's okay. As long as we can pick it up, it's okay. What I know does work, if any of you happen to have muslin cloth, is that works a charm because you can totally soak that in PVA glue, it will not tear and you can drape it. So I, woo, 
I do know that works. Kitchen roll would probably work as well, thinking about it. It's a bit more hardy and it will still flop and fold about like how we want it to. We just need the transparent nature, which again, kitchen roll should be okay. So if this fails, we will try again with kitchen roll. It's looking like it's going to work. We'll just stick one over the top. We don't want it too thick. We want the light to shine through. Brave and go for a couple more. So why am I trying to stick that on the top? We just put one there to try and smooth his head over a bit. And I've yet to transfer this guy to the front room, so he might just No pun intended, give up the ghost. Ha ha. And um, I might drop him on the floor. I have a habit of doing that with things that I don't want to drop. I don't want him to cling. Right, let's not do that. If he clings, he clings. We're going to take him as he is, let him dry, and fingers crossed this works. So we're going to come back when he's dry, and then we'll try putting the light in. It worked. Well, the dry side of it worked. A oh, little tissue paper, jelly cup, mold, um, mold, ghost. <laughs> worked, and it stands on there just fine. Will the light shine through? It does. It does. Let me see if I turn the light off for a second. Oh, look at that. It shines. He glows. Oh, that's really cool. Right, I'm going to put the light back on for a second. Let me turn that off for a moment. And let's have a look. Where should I put his face? Maybe right there? Maybe there? Hang on, let's have a look with the light in it, see which side looks. Where do we look like we're begging for a face? I don't know. There, there. I mean, we got a bit of a sticky outy bit here, like there's a nose, but then we have here as well. Maybe here. We go here and here. Hmm. 
we'll go this side. This is where we're going to stick the face. Let's turn out for a second. Oh, little ghosty. Oops. Oops. All right, let's have a look at him. Now he's got a little face. Up to you if you want to give him a mouth. I tend to, I've done mouths in the past. Sometimes I put them on, sometimes I don't. I think this guy's going to go mouthless. He's just going to be a little, a little eyeball ghosty. Let's have a look. Oh, he's really cool. Let me turn the light back off again. Look at him. How cool is that? A really nice, simple, ghosty decoration. You can make loads of these and... Those tea lights, they were like 4 for 69p. Most places in England anyway at the moment, and especially like, in fact most times around the year, but especially at um, Halloween and Christmas, you get like 4 for 99p or cheaper. This is an old Christmas one from last year that I got 4 for 69p. So for 69p, a little bit of glue, a little bit of tissue, and some jelly pots, tiny bit of paint, Little ghosty. He's really cool. And I'm so pleased he worked. And if you find, like I did initially, that tissue paper is a bit too fiddly. Um, like I said, muslin works a charm. It's It'll hold its own. You can cut it to whatever size you like. And it'll still have that transparent, you know, that semi-transparent nature to it. And you can also paint it, you can also soak it in glue, you can do all the same things. And same for kitchen roll. Kitchen roll will do the same thing. You won't need as many layers because it's a little bit thicker than tissue. So perhaps just like one or two if you can help it. And yeah, a little ghosty. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking me and my channel out. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you some ideas for things to try, some little cheap decorations you can make yourself, or just fun things to do. He's so much cool. He's so cooler than I thought he would come out. And like I said at the beginning, I wasn't 100% sure if he'd work or not. He does. Look at him. We can change his glow. You don't have to have the second one under there. That's what he'd look like if it was just level at the bottom. That's actually even cooler, isn't it? He doesn't even need the second one. How oh, cool. Well, like if you like what you see, comment if you've got something to say, and subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more. Thank you all again so, so much. Take care and see you in the next one. Ooh.